Hey guys, I just wanted to do uh, a little video on your DX8 settings to your Park Zone Vision Air, how you get them and how you set it up. Um, so what I've done, I just went to Google and I put in Park Zone and I came to this screen here. So once you get onto the website of Park Zone, you want to go over to support right here. Go to manuals and then slide down about three quarters of the way down the page. That's where your vision air is. Right there at the top now. Um, go to view. And then you're going to slide down again and go all the way down to support again right here. Slide down and there it is. DX8 downloads right here. Click on it twice. And it's going to download over here in the corner. It's good. So you hit this little arrow button here and go to open. And I actually didn't know this for quite a while that Park Zone had all these uh, downloads too, along with uh, the Spectrum DX8 site. But in here they got the Blade 450, 130X, MCPX, Brushless 300X, all kinds of different stuff that aren't on the Spectrum site. But if you slide down here, you'll find Vision Air right here. Click on it. There it is there. And then we'll get rid of this. And now what you want to do is take this, take that, slide it over. Put it on your screen over here. There you go. And then you can exit that screen out. So there it is right there. So now what you want to do, get your DX8 here and get your, uh, your memory card here out of the side. Sorry if I'm out of focus here, guys. Just gonna get, there we go. So you're just gonna get your little memory card here and uh, slide it into your computer. So here you go. And all you're gonna do is open the folder You can already see that I already have uh, the SBOC, um, the MCPX brushless, the Vision Air, and the 300X in there. So all you would do though, if you're going to do it, is grab this and just slide it right over into here like so. And it's uh, if you didn't have one in there already, it would just it would just go in there. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually copy it. So it's already in there. So it's right there. You can see that, guys. So then you can exit out of this. There you go. That's it. You just then you just uh, slide your memory card out. Go back over to your your DX8. Put your your card in. When you start this up, you want to hold. Hold this in, and then and then turn it on. So you'll get that screen there. I'll get this out of the way. And what you're gonna do, guys, is uh, slide all the way down. Transfer SD card. Go into that. Select option. Go over import model. And then you'll have your uh, Visionaire will be sitting in here. There's mine right there. So you would just uh, click your button, like so. I'm not going to uh, overwrite this because mine's already in there, but it would just say put it on 01 or whatever uh, memory slot you're putting it into. Then you would just slide over to import. But I'm going to go to cancel because mine's already in there. Okay. I'm gonna and. Uh, I'll show you where it is here. There's the Vision Air. Select this model. And there you go. And then it'll be all set up for you actually. Your serve like your throttle. Like it'll be all at 125 like this, like it's supposed to be. 
your dual rates, it will be all set up. The only thing with the dual rates, it will actually be set up on your, your aileron switch and your rudder switch. And I'm sure if you've got a DX8, you probably know how to uh, put all your rates onto one switch like I did, the F mode right here. So I can actually just change mine with just the one switch. You'll see this guy, see? So everything changes. And now the thing that kind of was tricky for me that I couldn't figure out was all I had here was my uh, low rates and high rates. But then I'll show you something here. I put my battery in. Just gonna set the camera down for a second, guys. So I put my battery in here and then I would check my my uh, my low rates. So I'm on my low rates now. There. My rudder. Pretty good. It was my elevator. Check that out. That's not much for a low rate. So I said, okay, well high rates, we've got to do a better job on that. And it would it definitely would give me more, but not much. A lot more in the aileron and a ton in the rudder. Whoop. And now what the thing was that I didn't couldn't figure out is actually the gear switch. So your gear switch at the back there is actually when it's down, that's actually in general flight, and this would be 3D. So you actually got four modes here. You got you got your low rates, low rates, then you got high rates, and then if you put this up, this is 3D mode, low rates, and now watch the elevator. That was the trick. And then I can go uh, stay in 3D mode and go high rates. And then you're gonna get all kinds of throws. Like check that out. So it's a big trick with this, uh, this gear switch. So you got sport mode down, low rates. Sport mode high rates. And then you can go 3D mode, low rates and then 3D mode, high rates. That's the key, is it's this gear switch. It confused me quite a bit, guys. Maybe some of you guys are a lot smarter than me. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but if uh, anybody else had a problem with it, I sure hope this helps you out. Anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.